Day one, no survivors whatsoever. The plane is littered with dead bodies. I'm the only one left, and the animals out here are rabid. I don't know how I'm gonna survive this. Night of day one. Let me show you my lean-to over here. Right over here. Right under here is where I go. Oh, it's wet to sleep. Like so. I sleep by myself because there's no survivors. Yeah! It's the night of day one. I dump where I lay in fear of rabbit animals might rip my limbs from my body. Now, thirst awakens me and I have to go get some water from the nearby stream. I pray that it isn't toxic. I have now quenched my thirst with this dirty creek water. But now, hunger strikes. Behold. On the banks of these shores, it appears as though there is a duck been waddling by. I shall maybe kill him in the near future and eat him as a feast to feed my belly. Day three. My beard is rapidly growing. I think it may be because of the toxins in the creek water that I drank the other day. Who knows? Only God. At the end of day four, I have stumbled upon an old medicine man that I met in the woods the other day. He doesn't speak much, but I think the language he is talking in is all lies. Plotting the old man's death at the end of day six will not be easy. I think I'll probably do a sneak attack when he's going to get some water for both of us down by the creek. It won't be easy since he speaks of all lies, but I'm gonna kill him. Day nine! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, this duck shall serve as a food source for many days. Hiya! Smell like poop. I ate the old duck. Wasn't good at all. It was a little bit stringy, but I ate it till the end. I got much of the blood in my beard, but I'll save it till later. I'll just lick it clean, and I'll comb it and then lick the comb. Then I'll brush it and then lick the brush. Then I'll brush it and then lick the comb. Day 10. I'm cold. I'm wet. Duck wasn't good. My beard is growing. Day 11. Day of the old man's death. Huzzah! You guys want me to show you something? Come this way. Over here. Follow. If you follow me down this way, you can see that I murdered the old man. I strangled him by the neck, and then Tomahawk killed him. Lying next to him, in my blind rage, I killed another survivor. And there was no one here to save him but me. But why would I do that? I may have killed others. No one knows. Won't you find this interesting with me? This old man was no old man at all. I peel back this fake mask, and it reveals that he is an Asian park ranger just here to save me. And he wasn't here to harm me at all. I killed him anyways. Now, as a ritual for burial, I shall rub warm buttermilk all over his hands and his chest. What? What? Ha <laughs> ha Day 12. Going extremely well. Found a pack of wild berries down by the stream. Ow! 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 It appears as though I am caught in the own snare that I built for the wild boars so that I could eat. But now, I am stuck here, unable to move, and immobile. What's going to happen? End of day 20. A pack of wild red fire ants have brought me some wild berries down by the stream. I will befriend them, and hopefully they will guard me while I sleep. I pooped the wild berries out immediately, and fear that they were poison though. Fire ants, you can't trust them. Day 19. I fear that I'm going blind. Day 21. I'm out of my snare, and becoming more and more used to my blindness. Day 36. Two weeks have gone by, and I'm still blind. 
A red fox has just came by and informed me that I am not blind after all, but those double-crossing red fire ants have just put wild leaves in my eyes to hinder my sight. What is this? K-42. Hello, walkie-talkies. Hello? I can't hear you. Why are you crying? Stop crying. Hello. It appears as though I have made contact with the outside world. Seems as though I may have a way out here after all. On day 52, I have some good news and I have some bad news. I bartered with a porcupine, my walkie-talkie, for this lovely plate of spaghetti. The bad news is that porcupine fooled me and it's just plastic. But I will try and eat it anyways, try and digest it, and make it go well through my body for nutrition. Day 76. Only bad news. I pooped out the spaghetti. It was plastic and it didn't go well. The porcupine came by and he ate it and he loved it. Day 100. I have lost track of the days, I have lost track of the time, and I have lost track of my journal. Over yonder is a Shell gas station where I may be going to buy some gummy snacks. Maybe some lightning bugs, because I have six dollars here in my pocket. A shred of hope. Oh. Oh. Day 103. Those survivors in Shell stole the gummy snacks. And I ate them. I didn't pay for them. There's no survivors. I guess I'll die alone in this cruel world.